Well, it's been a wonderful journey the last couple of weeks across this beautiful island of Sri Lanka. We are towards the end of the Mother Play LPL T20. It's the Eliminator, the Columbus Stars, the home side. They take on the Gore Gladiators. Right, uh, Colombo winning the toss a bit earlier. Deciding to bowl first. And uh, let's take a look at the Gore Gladiator side, the captain. And Udara will be looking to make up the majority of the runs in that team. Mr. Ahmed, we haven't seen him come to the party with bat and ball. We would certainly like to see that. Imad was seen probably early on with the ball today. Nuan Tashara has been fantastic as well. And they'll look to Nuan Pradeep, who's got some important wickets for them in the middle part of the innings. Home side, Colombo Stars, who finished third on the table. will uh, look to the captain, Angelo Matthews, who comes back into the side. Dennis Chandimal, who's looked good but uh, hasn't quite converted those starts that he's had. Charita Salanka, Ravi Bopara, some of the uh, guys that they'll look to with uh, the bat in hand. Benny Howell, decent all-rounder. They'll be looking for uh, wickets from him as well. Fan to say in the experience, Ranga Lakmal will bring up the rear. I think we're looking at a very exciting eliminator. The one young player in the in the goal lineup that Nwindu Ferrer, uh, Fernando. Tamako Dabra has been left out from this team and Asad Shafiq gets the opportunity. Top of the order. Test batsman with very good test pedigree. Those are the guys you want at the top of the order tonight. Kusal Mendes, the captain, and throughout this competition as well. The eliminator, and they've got one opportunity. Early on, we saw the ball just swinging around a little bit, possibly a little bit more than we've seen. Good. Off the mark straight away. That's the bounce you've been talking about. Straight away, splice of Asad Shavik's bat. Oh, is he in trouble? Is he in trouble? Yes, he is. It's a good delivery. It's the deliberate bouncer, I think. It's got off to Shafiq a bit sooner than he thought. Dolly off a catch to Angelo Matthews as mid on. He knows it. They had to make a move on. The first two overs was quiet. And Asad Shafiq perishes for four and goal six for one. Out. Necked it. Batsman is walking. Now this innings is stifled. He gave it up. He didn't wait for the umpire's decision. Nicely taken. The second wicket falls. Not able to get going. Mendes gone for four. 14 for two. So I know. Oh, this is battle around. Will it go all the way? It does. It's taken in the dip. Excellent catch. Couldn't believe his luck. And the reaction showed. He could have hit that one anywhere. Only managed to top edge it. And a neat work at fine leg boundary. Only six runs for Udara. It's 16 for three. Well, I remember a game up in Candy where Colombo star scored 124. Yes, there he goes. That's the first boundary of the evening, and it comes by a six. Knocked it down, and this is the running you need. Just a one shot, and suddenly... It was a six, not a boundary. Isn't it a boundary six? There is a difference. Down the wicket. Has it gone? No! Charita Salanka, the catcher. For a moment, I thought he's cleared long on. He doesn't believe it. Fielding has definitely improved. We have seen some outstanding catches. Here's another one. Well judged. Aware of the surroundings. Brilliant, brilliant. They strike. Only the eight runs to no one in the Fernando. 40 for four. It was quite quick. Asking the question, asking the question. They think there was bad. Lynn Hannibal is not impressed. Dominic Greggs is suggesting a review. He's asked for it. Okay, um, 
Well, I think the gentleman up in the box called it. Sahan Narachigu is quite good against leg spin. Nicely picked up this over mid wicket. It's a vacant area. An important boundary. If the car gets a lot of height, not sure it's gone the distance. Oh, it's very well taken. Dinesh Chandimal. That was base of the ball from. Uh, in fact, it's Mat Nabi for a moment. He looked like Chandimal to me. But it was a great catch by Mohamed Nabi. While running in Suranga Lakmal, I saw he was holding the ball across the seam. And maybe a slow ball as well. And the ball did not skid on. Ithikar Ahmad got the timing, got the elevation, but not the distance. And Mohamed Nabi sprinted about 50 meters to get there. And in the end, made it look so easy. Ithikar Ahmad got five, goal, in trouble. 63 for five. Get an edge, four of the first ball. It's assisting the bowlers. And I want to get a Rachi game as quickly as possible. Pulled away. He'll find the boundary. That'll be decent. That's nicely bowled. Saw the batsman backing away. Bolted it slower. Okay, back foot, you know, clearly behind the popping, please. I made my decision. Decision for the big spin. Is not Very good by Mohammed Nabi. He went a little bit slower there to Imad Wazim. Oh, lovely. Lovely. He's playing the gem of an innings. Sahan Narachige, this is his first game. And had the pressure of a bigger game. We have to start with, he was watchful. But now he's cutting loose. Oh, hammered again, that's 50. This is stunning stuff from Sahan Narachige. It's only his second T20. Half century in 31 T20 games. Russell, what a shot that was. It wasn't a bad delivery, to be fair. Wow, enjoyable. This man is talented. Key to that hit was the stable base. Got a stable base. Got his weight and power through the ball. Oh, he's not got all of that. Gets to a half century and holds out. So Benny Howell. Gets his man. Arachige. Victim of circumstances. He had to go. And take few chances. But this time around. He was shot in execution. Got hold out. But nevertheless, very impressive. 53 from him. It's 94 for 6. Ball that dipped on him. Yeah, you mentioned the ball dipping at the last moment. That's what the bowlers want to see can be very difficult for the batsman to deal with. And that's what we saw. Bahabriyas cleaned up. The misery expands for Gaul Gladiators. It's 96 for 7. Ball in. And it's very good mate, Laksan Laksan Sandikan. They, they really good, very, very good mates in the, in the Sri Lankan setup. Trying to clear his leg. Drags it on. Laksan Sandikan, one of three, all 99 for eight. Could be He's the pushing. gap. Skids away again. Oh dear, oh dear. Did all the work. Charita Salanka. He's got this one. Yes, he has. Asalanka has got it. What a catch. He's worked damn hard at it. He finds himself in the hot spot positions all the time. Runs a hard for this. He's wanted that right from the start. Very, very good catch, Cherith Asalanka. Very well played. 106 for nine goal. Imad Wazim, 17 of 15 balls. Slots it. Doesn't get it well enough, but that'll allow them to come for two because too much. 
for Jeffrey Van der Say to do. We'll, we'll have a look. Oh no, oh no. He's home, so that'll be 108 for nine at the end of 18. Ran really hard to be able to get those two important runs. Good effort by the Columbus Stars. They'll need 109 to make their way to qualifier to where Candy awaits. Kasim Rajita and uh, young Charita Salanka. So overall, it's been an excellent show by the Columbus Stars. So this is the sudden death stage of the uh, Lanka Premier League. Dinesh Chandimal been given the mantle of opening the batting in, in his third game. And a great opportunity for young Nishan Madhuska. You mentioned about playing his third game. But he's a proper opening bat, Nishan Madhuska. He bats in the top three. Let's see how he does. Nuan Pradeep. That's sliding down the leg side and starts off with a wide. Exactly. Come down. Made it at the right position and that went a, a good distance. His stance as he comes down the wicket here, we see it commits to his shot and hits it really well. Perhaps the crossing over was because of Nuan Tassara's very low arm. He's been to Pradeep, he's been a lot more aligned, which has allowed him, allowed him to hit through the ball. This is brilliant intent, really brilliant intent. High, 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 high. Oh, oh good catch, good catch, my goodness. It went so high. Again, as we expected, he was going for another big Monty. And the young Nuanidu Fernando kept his composure, kept his eye. Take a look at this. Right throughout this LPL, we have been seeing some amazing catches. That's not that far from being one of the best, or if not the best. Chandimal, uh, Briss 13, Colombo 16 for one. You got to make the maximum. This time, full toss. Trying to get that Yorker going. Seen many times this uh, LPL, Nuan Tushara has cleaned up left handers with that delivery. Madhuska finally opens up. He's been struggling a bit for eight deliveries. And Nuan Pradeep, ball is a half tracker. Well, they have referred it all the way take it please flat line keep going yeah keep going keep going yeah keep going yeah he confirms not out like the short ball he's picked that in front of square four runs they need a better effort than that to Aubrey has to stay off the pitch this is tight direct hit he gets it. That's what they needed. And guess who? Guess who? He's beating the drums, Fernando. Just hurl the ball onto the stumps. Bullseye. He's way short. Yeah, not even in the frame. Confirmation on the big screen. Asalanka stuttered, but he was going to be short anyway. He's gone for 10, 43 for 2. Keep him on strike. That's probably why he got the ball to bounce two meters in front of himself. I get your point now. So get him on strike for the new over. That's in the air. Sander can. Sander can. He can catch it. That's the third wicket. Beg your pardon? Wicket number three. He was frustrated, wasn't he? He had to chance his arms. Nishan Madushka. Gone for 13, 44 for 3. Oh, that hit somewhere. Was it the glove? But it's gone for 4. The question is, what should be the approach of the uh, Colombo Stars to start with? They've got a boundary of the first ball. It's a welcome boundary. That's running away. A lot of work for Sander Khan to do. Short now that's pulled away properly. That's a bad ball. Short again, he's pulled it away. And it's gone for another boundary. Now this has become a very, very good over. Outside edge. Is this gonna run away to the boundary? Yes, it is. It's the perfect start to the over after the good over they've just had. 
That's well played. Swift well in front of the man who's behind square. Columbus Stars now are in total control. Oh, that smashed down the ground. Russell Arnold, does he have an earpiece? Is he listening to what you're saying? Oh, they've kept their nerve. Down the leg side it goes. That's the game. That's the game. It's a no ball. Hence, goal, crash out. Now, this is the first win that the Colombo Stars have recorded in a knockout stage. They were so close, and for long periods, they thought they can get over the line. But at the end, using all their experience, the Colombo Stars move on to take on the Candy Falcons in the qualifier two. 2021, they lost the eliminator to Dambola. But tonight, the Colombo Stars book a place in the second qualifier with a convincing seven-wicket victory. And you'll spare a thought for those men in purple because right up until that 15th over, they were in the game. That Noan Tushara over that win for 17. The field is the one that just made the victory that much easier. So... Contributions from Ravi Bupara, the senior statesman, the captain Angela Matthews, and a good partnership of 65 and 54 between them. Good enough to take the Stars into Qualifier 2. They win by seven wickets. The bowlers for Gore Gladiators, initially very, very good. Pradeep Tassara started well. Imad Wazim, his normal miserly self. Wahab Ria started well as, as well. Then there was the one over from Nguyen Tassara that went the distance, which broke the back. Right, so that's the summary then of the 2022 eliminator. The Gladiators batting first, 108 for nine. It was good contributions from RG Gay, 53 and 31. But it was the two seniors, Matthews and with them, Ravi Bapara, that got them across the line. They booked their place in the second qualifier tomorrow. Right, so after the first two matches of the playoffs, this is what we have. Jaffna Kings winning the first qualifier, booking their place in the final in two days' time. And then the eliminator between Gaul and Colombo going to Colombo. It means that Candy have the second bite of the cherry for that final against Colombo. That'll be here tomorrow evening, 7 p.m., to find out who will join the Jaffna Kings, the two-time champions, in the final.